and forget that your job may be offshored at any moment and our erections are being, our elections. Oh, well, spot the difference. Being rigged. And we're being cracked down upon so hard now. Maynard from Tool told me that after Rupert Murdoch bought MySpace, his anti-Bush statements all got stripped off of his MySpace site. Interesting. Basically, that along with Howard Dean's idea of what the Internet is for and this new thing in Congress right now is a new bill designed to stamp out neutrality in a level playing field on the Internet. Where now, as if they aren't making enough money, Verizon and Comcast and AT&T could then decide who gets processed how quickly on the internet and how many toll booths they can set up along the way to charge you for every last little thing. So somebody who wants to set up a non-corporate website or get in touch with somebody else, slowly but surely marginalize where you can't really get your voice out anymore. In addition to trying to reclaim our right to vote, another major battle we're going to have to fight is to reclaim our right to communicate. In corporate media, we have a different point of view than what they're telling us on Fox News or the slightly disguised wannabe Fox Newses like CNN and CBS and all. They don't get on there. When was the last time you saw Ralph Nader even on Nightline or anything like that? This all has to be marginalized. Third-party candidates in elections, not discussed, not allowed in the debates. Local elections, barely even covered on local news, so you can't get the word out. And now they want to even keep putting up booths on the Internet, which Al Gore proposed when he was vice president, just to keep people from communicating, especially if they're patriotically incorrect. But... Sometimes we aren't helping matters either. When we start falling into these little electronic ruts of things like, oh yeah, I talked to that person yesterday. Oh really, what did they say? Oh, I don't know, I just emailed them. Emailing is not communicating until you get a reply. And if you really want a reply quickly, you don't just wait a day or two and send an, didn't you get my email? No, you can instant message the easy way and call the person on the phone. And it's amazing how this works in the digital age. You ask somebody a question on the phone, they answer you instantly. And then you can even ask them another question. I can't believe that we've gotten so sophisticatedly stupid, we can't figure that out anymore. Or now it's so popular with the kids and their fancy phone toys. Ooh, I'm sending a little text message to you. I can see you 50 yards away at the mall, but I'm not going to talk to you. I'm only going to text you. Or an ex-girlfriend of mine in L.A., she's out at a club and meets somebody who says to her, Oh, you're my MySpace friend. And then turns around and walks away and doesn't talk to her anymore. Yeah, we're MySpacing out so much and getting all this gadgetry and knowing instantly what's up with stuff that doesn't really matter, like what your friend's going to wear that day or something like that. We're missing an awful lot of the big picture. It wasn't that long ago that living in a world of imaginary friends was considered a mental illness. And then there's these go, go, go yuppie parents go so far to avoid talking to their own children, throw them in the back of the minivan or the guzzling SUV, then lower down the screen and make them watch a DVD just so you don't have to talk to your own kids. Just so you can keep texting people and keeping up with your messages on the phone when you're supposed to be paying attention to your driving. Granted, phones are becoming very, very fascinating toys, and the sooner they can be used to hack deep old voting machines, the better. But 
I keep wondering when people are finally going to realize they've been had and demand something a little more lifelike, when they finally get tired of things like, wow, I got to see a whole Bon Jovi concert on my phone available exclusively to Verizon customers, and Bon Jovi was no bigger than a termite. It was so awesome, man. I like more. I like live bands. I like to listen to things without some video showing me what the song's supposed to mean so I can decide that for myself instead. We're not helping with this battle to communicate. 